After I received my proper diagnosis in October of 2000, I was told that it was uncertain whether physical therapy would help me or hurt me in the long run. I was the expert and I needed to do what felt right to me. Not exactly what you want to hear after receiving a life-altering diagnosis. I decided that light physical therapy was something that I needed. If nothing else, it would provide proper documentation of the progression of my illness. I understood that there was a fine line between too little and too much exercise. I was cautioned about overdoing it during the exercise or daily activities as my body was unable to repair any muscle damage. My exercise program has evolved since receiving my diagnosis 13 years ago. My exercise routine has always been a joint decision between my local doctors, my physical therapist, and myself. I am proud to say that my physical therapist, Jeanette, is now one of my dear friends. Jeanette reviews current medical literature and tries to incorporate the best current practice with practice that is evidence-based into my workout program. Throughout the years, how often I attend physical therapy has changed due to the demands of my everyday life. In the early years after my diagnosis, my carefree lifestyle allowed me to attend therapy three times a week. That tapered off to twice a week after I married and is now down to once a week due to the demands of being a wife, a mother, an employee, and a graduate student. I realize that this is not often enough, and my dear friend Jeanette reminds me of this from time to time. Over the years, I have mainly participated in land-based exercise. These activities covered a very wide range due to the progressive nature of my illness. In the beginning, I would use weight machines, climb steps, walk on a treadmill, and retrieve items off the floor. As the weakness progressed, so would my exercise routine. After about five years, my exercises became less involved. I needed the assistance of a cane when walking. I even used a pair of leg braces for a short time before transitioning to a wheelchair full time. Today, my land-based exercises mostly consist of standing with support, resistance exercises with TheraBand, and isometrics. In addition to land therapy, I was also introduced to aquatics in 2006. This form of exercise is something I thoroughly enjoy. I feel like I get so much more from the aquatics therapy. I'm able to walk laps, tread water, work on my upper body strength as well. The main issue with aquatics therapy is finding a facility that is fully accessible for me to get changed and has a pull lift. My husband and I decided that, exer that the exercise benefits I received from aquatics was reason enough to have a pool installed in our backyard. From April to August of last year, I was able to exercise in the pool multiple times a week. I noticed a significant increase in my balance when performing my standing transfers. Unfortunately, when the pool season ended, all of my hard work seemed to disappear in about a month. I could use the pool at my physical therapy office in the winter months. However, this would eat approximately three plus hours of my day due to the drive time, changing out of my clothes, the actual time of exercise in the pool, and changing out of my swimsuit. I realize this is an excuse of sorts, but I have a full active life outside of the inconvenience of muscular dystrophy. I know that the jury is still out on whether exercise will help or hurt people with my diagnosis. However, recent research shows that appropriate exercise intervention has a neuroprotective effect meaning it delays or decreases neuromuscular deteriorations in persons with progressive neuromuscular diseases. Even though much of this research has been done in the diagnosis of Parkinson's disease, it is believed to be true across multiple diagnoses. I realize that without medicine or a cure, exercise alone is not going to give me back the physical abilities that the progression of this illness has taken from me. However, I share the point of view of the late Christopher Reeves. It is imperative for me to maintain overall good bone, muscle, and cardiovascular health, so when the miracle cure y'all are working so hard to find comes along, I will be healthy enough to benefit from it.